Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. Eight self improvement lessons, free, no ads. The second lesson has to do with improving your communication effectiveness. What I'd like to do in this video is offer you a tip based on the effective communication basics that you'll find in lesson two. I want to offer you an application of those basics. I wonder if you are troubled from time to time, as most people are, with a partner, a conversation partner, who interrupts you, either occasionally or a lot, situationally or chronically, all the time. That's annoying, and it's frustrating, and it's disrespectful. When that happens, the other person's needs don't match yours. They need to talk more than they need to listen. Uh, can you think of somebody in your life who often interrupts you or interrupts too much? Think for a moment about how you respond in that situation. There are several different options for all of us. Um, one option is to simply endure it, say nothing, um, have certain emotional reactions inside, try and get your needs met, let the other person speak, keep trying to speak your needs until the conversation ends. That's a lose-lose option. You're likely to degrade your own self-esteem. doesn't enhance your relationship. So enduring is one option. The second option which you may do yourself or you may know others who do. The second option is to get angry and or frustrated. They feel the same. And to interrupt the interrupter or to accuse them, say, you never listened to me or you're not listening to me or why are you so rude or make some kind of uh, combative or accusatory statement. Do you ever do that? Um, you're an insensitive moron. You know, you never listen. You never listen to anybody. That's generalizing. Okay, so that's a second way of responding to someone who interrupts you too much. That is a lose-win option because you may get, they may get their needs met, but you don't. Your relationship suffers if you do that. The third option I propose is the best. Here's how it works. First, put your true self in charge. You're much less apt to be reactive and name call or be submissive if your true self is in charge. You're more apt to be assertive in a respectful way. Use lesson one in the website to find out how to put and keep your true self in charge. The second step is use the communication skill of awareness. You have to be aware of the process that's going on in you and between you and your partner to notice. You know, so-and-so is really interrupting me a lot. I'm getting tired of this. Or I'm frustrated. Or I'm hurt. Or I'm angry. Or I'm numb. Sometimes people just tune out when someone continues to interrupt them. They just stop listening. Their body's there, but their mind is somewhere else. So, put yourself in charge, cultivate awareness. When you notice you have a problem with your partner, they're interrupting you too often, they're not letting you finish. An option is to choose to use a respectful I message. There's another video that shows you how to, what I messages are and how to use them. And fundamentally, they are a way of reporting to your partner in a neutral, respectful way what their behavior is that you perceive and how does their behavior affect you. The third part of an I message, which is optional, is a statement clearly and definitively, what do you need from your partner? So that might sound like this. You're in conversation with somebody face to face or over the phone <clears throat> or over the internet, maybe texting. It's a little slower, but the process is the same. 
and you notice they're interrupting you and you notice it's starting to bother you, breathe well, take an inventory, say, I'm really getting frustrated, I'm feeling disrespected, I don't like this, I want to let my partner know this, and ideally I want them to stop. So you wait until they take a breath, and you say, can I give you some feedback? They may say no, or why, or what, various reactions. If you get a no, that's a separate problem, which I'm not going to cover here. But if they say, well, okay, or what, or, and you say, you know, I've noticed in the last X minutes that you've interrupted me probably four or five times. Are you aware of that? That's an assertion. It's just an observation. It's not sarcastic. You're not trying to guilt trip them. You're just reporting what you've noticed. That's all. Uh, you can stop there or you can go on and say, if they say, oh, I didn't know or I wasn't aware or, well, you talk too much or blah, blah, blah. Be prepared for them to resist your observation. If they do, use empathic listening. It's another one of the seven skills you'll find in lesson two. It's saying back to the person what you hear them say without agreeing. So be prepared for them to resist. You're saying, you know, you've interrupted me a lot. If they resist, use empathic listening, say it again. And when you interrupt me so frequently, I feel, say calmly, factually, how their behavior affects you. I feel disrespected and I feel unheard. Optionally, you can add a third part to your iMessage, which says, I'd like you to stop interrupting me and let me finish my thoughts and I'll try and do the same for you. Are you willing to do that? Seek agreement. Expect resistance. If you get it, use empathic listening. Say it again. I'd really like you to be aware of how often you interrupt me, and I'd like you to stop doing that. I'll do my best not to interrupt you, so we can both get our needs met here. Are you willing to do that? If the other person continues to resist or becomes argumentative or shuts down or walks away, you have a separate problem. It's very likely that they are controlled by a false self. That's the subject of another video. It's also part of lesson four in my website, how to deal with a person who's psychologically wounded. And for the purpose of this video, if you interrupt people too much, use lesson one to find out who's really running your life because it sounds like it's an impatient sub-self, it's not your true self. If someone else interrupts you too frequently or at a critical time, put yourself in charge, use awareness to notice the effects of these interruptions on you, your thoughts, your feelings, your concentration, your focus, your needs. When you have an opportunity, ask if you can give the person feedback if they say yes or say I don't care or I don't know. Say, are you aware that you've interrupted me the last you know, several times in the last four minutes or whatever? When you do that, I feel disrespected and really frustrated. And I need you to stop. I need you to pay attention to your interruptions and stop. Will you do that? There's lots of variations here, but notice the theme. You are asserting non-combatively, non-sarcastically, you're saying what you need in a way that's trying to preserve and protect the relationship. If a false self runs you, you're unlikely to do that. So this is one tip on how to handle an annoying dynamic with a communication partner. Stay tuned because I'll show you some more that are similar to this. In the meantime, I hope this adds to your incentive to study Lesson 2 and Lesson 1 in the nonprofit Break the Cycle website and review some of the related videos in this series. Thanks for watching.